picnics in the park. I can't wait. Come on. I cannot wait. Our next guest is going to share tips and tricks to help you pack the perfect basket. Joining us live this morning is Real Simple's food editor, Jenna Helwig. Jenna, so nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you. The Thank lady you director, this. the last time we spoke, we were talking artichokes. You know I have a fear of artichokes. Why? I can't cook them. Oh, uh, well. But sh but I, like, I sure do like we, to eat We'll them. have to do it again. We'll Please. do the segment again. Okay, yeah. I'm, but I'm glad. <laughs> do we bring a pig, an artichoke on a picnic? No. Okay. Well, you could. You could. But we didn't today. Okay, good, yeah. fine. <laughs> okay, so what do we start with? Let's You've go basics. Things. Yeah, first basics. Off. So things not to forget, mm. right? Yes. So very important things. First of all, the first things I think of, Corkscrew and bottle opener. She, Super this is why, why I like friend. you. This is why I like you. Don't forget the, yeah. you're going to be in trouble. What a disaster you get to the, your picnic and you don't have those. Um, this picnic is also the time to take out all those little condiment packets that uh -oh. you have stuffed in your junk drawer and you know you from takeout. So you know many, you right? Perfect thing, take them on a picnic. The blanket, really important, right? Yeah. So the gold standard is a blanket like this that mm -hmm. has a lining <gasps> on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Is that what so, we're seeing? Exactly. I so if it's rained a little, you're not going to get all wet. You're not going to okay. soak through. That's right. However, obviously, a sheet or a tablecloth will do we'll in do a pinch, trick, right? right? You don't have to go out and buy a special blanket. Okay. Um, make sure you bring trash bags. You can Guys. take out your trash and recycling. Mm -hmm. Seriously. You don't need junky parks. No. Please, no. Um, plates. Now, you may think disposable plates, that's the way to go. However, they blow away really easily, oh, that's right? right? That's right. Obviously not eco-friendly, as we know. Mm -hmm. um, so we really like these little melamine plates. They're lightweight. They're adorable. They're adorable. They scream picnic. It's melamine, yeah. not melamine. I don't know. Because I, I, I vacillate between the two pronunciations. I say melamine. You vacillate, do you? I vacillate. We might have to do another segment about well, that. The pronunciation. <laughs> and look at these cups. And but the these are great. This They're great. Put them picnic. in the dishwasher, yeah. right? So just put them in a bag when you're done, go home, put them in the dishwasher. So they really it. aren't much of a hassle. And they elevate the experience. Absolutely. Of Same the picnic. With I would be impressed if I was at this picnic. Thank you. Instead of napkins, you can use dish towels. Also, which classy. is great, especially if you have messy foods right. like, you know, ribs. ribs. Right. Ribs. <laughs> which apparently is what's happening at your picnic. You can have some. We always have ribs at our we picnic. We will have ribs. <laughs> Sounds oh, delicious. Excellent. So, but let's talk about what you're going to bring your food in. Okay. Right? So once you've established what the look and all the stuff that yes. you need, we packing. go to the, the cooler. cooler. Exactly. So now, these little picnic baskets are uh, adorable so cute. and great for bringing like all of these things. But for the food, you really want a cooler Got because it. you want your food to be cold because that means it's safe. Yes. Ha, so, <laughs> ha, ha, yeah. Fancy that. I, you don't need anything rancid. So, I, you, I can. Yeah. It's like Dorothy. I, I leaving so Oz. Adorable. It I is love very this. cute. Yes. And your little dog too. I mm. like the soft-sided coolers because they're easier to carry. Oh, yeah. um, you know, hard ones are fine too, but soft is good or an insulated bag. Okay. Yes. And so to keep things cold, you can of course use like these handy. Oh sure, cold we have. Packs. My kids are. They right. are not. I've, yeah, I've got about so like, 500 yeah, of those in my freezer. <laughs> yeah. Same here. However, if you don't have them or you want to just make more room in your cooler, make sure you pre-chilled drinks, cans of soda, beer. Pre-chilled. You can put peanut butter and jelly for your kids in the freezer, yogurt tubes in the freezer. Oh. Put them in here to help keep food cold, okay. and then they'll be defrosted in time to eat. So that's you know what? That's working getting, smarter, not harder. But there is an art to packing the cooler. There so is. walk us through that. So first of all, every time you open the cooler, you're yeah. letting cold air out and warm air in, which is not mm. what we want. So you want to make things easier to find. So I like to organize drinks on one side and food on the other because people are going for the drinks, right? That's right. So this way they don't have to rummage through everything oh, and yeah. right, just pull right, out whatever right, they right. want to drink. So I also like to pack ice cubes in a bag and use that as a cold pack, and then you can use it for your drinks. There you go. Um, in so these cute sense. little cups. The right. vessels. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we also love this pitcher. It's from Served, and it's insulated. It doesn't sweat. It's like a big thermos. May I? It's super awesome. Imagine that chock full of forever. fresh lemonade. Yes, or wow. sangria. Sangria, or whatever. Look at me. As yes, if I yeah. would have. A, yeah, ribs, there would be ribs adult lemonade. Ribs and sangria. Ribs and this sangria. This is lovely. Very sleek. <laughs> okay, so drink. Drinks. Drinks, yeah. So now food. Let's talk about yes. the food. You want to have the food as much as possible in clear containers like so this. So you can see. So you can see. Again, you're not like spending a lot of time with the cooler open. Um, and I like to bring things like hearty salads, you know, grain salads, roasted vegetables, pasta, or potato salads that you can make ahead. Right. And they're going to taste even better after having been in the cooler for a couple of hours. Now, do you put the dressing on or do you take a separate vessel to dress while you're there? Great question. So those, I 
put the dressing on because they're going to taste even better. Now, it's not really a mayo dressing. I like a vinegar right. dressing, and I don't want a green salad in here. That's you just want kale. Wilt kale nothing. gets better with time. Kale, yes. Huh? Kale does, or we cabbage. Have, we have kale, we have ribs, we have sangria. I, I love, I I love our When and where? Yeah. When and where? <laughs> Now, another tip I love is instead of making individual sandwiches, buy a large loaf of bread, make one sandwich, it could be Italian bread, baguette, and then when you get to your picnic, you can cut it. It's much oh. easier to transport one Genius. large sandwich instead of many small ones. Genius. You know what? Jenna, you know, you are invited. When we have a pick, a picnic, we have a picnic, <laughs> you're invited.